A warm good morning to class. Today, we are going to discuss about a new topic, communication. Let's have a look at our presentation. Communication. What is communication? The exchange of any information is called communication. Suppose when you are in your class and you are talking with your friends, when you're expressing your feeling, when you when the teacher is in the class and taking some giving some information to you, all these type of activities we can call in simple terms as communication. The process of exchanging ideas, opinions, facts, values, etc., from one person to another or one organization to another is called communication. Importance of communication. Why communication is important for mm -hmm. us? Because it helps us to express our ideas and feelings. It helps us to understand the emotion and thoughts of others. It helps us to spread knowledge and information with others. Communication will always enable us to express our feelings with others we will be able to understand about others' feelings through communication. And also, if we are having good communication, we will be able to express or share our knowledge with other people. Now, we are moving to types of communication. There are four types of communication. Verbal communication, Nonverbal communication, written communication, and visual communication. We can go in detail about all of these communication. What is verbal communication? When we are using words to express our feelings to some other person, we can call it as a verbal communication. Listening to the words and understanding the meaning. For example, talking face to face, over the phone, and on video calls. We can watch here the person is having conversation or communications through video calls, and the other one is talking over phones. All of these two types will come under verbal communication. Next, nonverbal communication. What is nonverbal communication? In simple terms, when we are communicating without the use of words, we can call it as a normal communication. Nonverbal communication. Observing someone and deducing the meaning. For example, deducing the facial expressions, posture, eye contact, hand movements, and touch. Suppose some person is coming to your our house. And without saying any word, they are just shaking their hands or giving a smile in their face. From that, we can feel or we can realize that the person is happy. So all these come under nonverbal type of communication. Other examples, handshakes, saying hello, smile, anchor, and love. All these come under nonverbal forms of communication. Written communication. When we are using written words to express our feeling, we can call it as written communication. Writing or reading the words containing meaningful information. What are the examples of written communication? Letters, emails, text, text messages, WhatsApp messages, etc. When we are working in an organization, we can write emails to pass information to other person. When we are chatting in WhatsApp with our friends, it's a form of written communication. And of course, letters are also come under this category. The final one, 
visual communication. As the name suggests, when we are getting any type of information through visual form or picture form, it can, we can call it as visual communication. Watching the visuals and understanding the meaning. Example, social media pictures, videos, television, etc. If you are getting any type of information by watching television, or if you are watching YouTube, we can watch a lot of videos and get information from YouTube. Or if you are using any type of social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of this will come under visual communication. Now we can move to a quiz in which you will be learn more about the type of communication and your learning will be more stronger. Yes, we can start the cues. We need to find out what is this type of communication. The person is asking some questions to the other person. Of course, they are using words. So, what is that? Verbal communication or non-verbal communication? Of course, as they are using words to express their views and ideas, it is verbal communication. Again, once again, click the link as it is not working properly. Let's check once again. We have answered this. Next, the person is writing some information to pass the information to other person. So it will come under verbal communication. Here the person, without using any type of words, using a facial expressions to keep silent. So, of course, it will come under nonverbal communication. Yes. Here, again, back to the cues, the two children talking to each other using both. So it will come under verbal communication. This, the person is keeping silent without saying any words. So of course, it will come under nonverbal communication. Okay, this will also, of course, come under our nonverbal communication because all these are expressions. Let's go back to another slide. I believe the people get more idea about the communications by doing the cues. That's all about our class today relating to our topic communication. Thank you class.